Hey, are we live? What you do is um, you leave the, the mirror pull in, you toss the wrist rep in, and the deglaze, glaze, like I told you, add the stock. And then when it's done cooking, you remove the ribs, the bones, and you can take the mirepoix and that stock and blend it. Yummers. Hey, thank you, bro. I appreciate it. And uh, I'll send you the video when I'm done. Okay, so I just bought these ribs from Costco. They were a really good deal. 50 bucks. And Matt just told me how to make it because I'm going to make a beef noodle soup. Basically, I've been geeking out on noodles and I've always wanted to cook ramen from scratch. So I'm starting with beef noodle soup just because I bought beef. Normally there isn't a beef stock ramen, but today I'm going to make that soup with noodles and I know the girl's going to like it. It's quite a process. I'm going to make it right now. Daddy's right here. How you doing? Huh? go so I've salt and peppered these and they've been sitting for I want to say about 30 minutes I'm gonna go ahead and braise the crap out of these just really get it as dark as possible then I'm gonna cook all the vegetables deglaze it with the sake and then I'm gonna put the chicken stock in there and let it cook for two or three hours if you're wondering why I'm cooking outside it's because I just like the house to smell clean for Judy's sake. I don't mind the smell at all, but even for me, it's nice that I can cook out here. The smells are just going everywhere. This is the nice thing about this tool right here. It's called the Control Freak. Brovo makes this. It's quite expensive, but totally worth it if you use it a lot. And I use it a lot, especially for deep frying. So I'm gonna go ahead and braise these right now and then go from there. I'm almost done with these short ribs. I just have to flip them. See, it's, it's smoky because it's so hot and there's a lot of fat here. And this guy, basically done. Looks so good. Smells good too. Matt told me I need to braise these almost to the point where it's maybe over braised. So that's exactly what I'm doing right now. And after that, I'll put in the carrots and onions. That's just about done. Now I'm going to deglaze a pan with some sake. I don't know how much. I'm just gonna be careful not to do too much. There you go. I think that's good. Woo! Just going to cook off all that sake till it's basically gone. And then I'll be ready to add the ribs back in and liquid and let it cook.
this has been cooking for three hours on a simmer. Let me actually show you what it looks like. Oh, baby. And you know, I know this is good because Judy was saying it smells good. Oh my gosh, so. Um, oh, look, these little orange pieces are the carrots. She didn't even stir this, but you can tell it's fall off the bone good. And at this point, it's basically done. And there is this like thick layer of fat on top. I love the fat because that's a lot of flavor. When I feed this to the kids, I probably will remove some of it for them. But for me, I keep it all on. I like the full fat, I like that fatty fat. I'm gonna just let this go. But you know what I might do though, is get one of these chunks of meat and taste it just to kind of see how the flavor is. By the way, if you're curious, I'm using a Staub pot. Perfect for deep frying, for stews, soups, and then curries. So if you ever want a good pot, it is quite pricey compared to just stainless steel, but totally worth it. It'll last you forever. Yeah, oh baby. Look at that, look at that. That's a lot of fat there. Oh my God, look at that. Look how tender that is. This with some rice. Oh my gosh, okay, let's try it. First bite is probably super hot, but I don't care. Something that's gonna fix it right up though, because I didn't put enough salt in there, which is okay, I can still fix that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh my gosh, I can't wait till Judy gets it to try this. Mm. Oh my god. Oh my god. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That whole pack of meat seems to be pricey. It was about 56 bucks. But there was a lot of meat there. And the meat next to the bone is always the best flavor, as my mom said. And then you get all the goodness of the bones in your soup. My gosh, if you could have tried this with rice right now, I could make a sandwich out of this. Wow, 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 wow. Look at this funny, fall, fell off the bone completely. Just me, myself, and I. You know, uh, Matt taught me this way to make a sauce with the leftover chunk, like the chunks I'm about to take out here. But what you do is you strain this, I think, and then you take all those leftover chunks and you put it in the blender. Oh, yum, to make a gravy? To make a sauce, basically. So what I'm doing here is just, I'm just straining it, straining it all out. But this will be a good soup base for Taiwanese noodle soup or something similar to it. It's well, definitely not it like it. It is a beef broth. This is very, very nutritious. And then what you can do is chop that up, put it over rice, and this will be a good flavor. And the soup is for the noodles I'm gonna make later. Oh my God. Right? Oh, All right, so I'm gonna make a sauce with all the bits and pieces. That said, just do this. I'm gonna turn it on, the cover on. You know what, I'm gonna put some butter in there. For whatever reason, I feel like this will make it better, more silky. Sauces, here we go. Oh, baby. Baby. It's not to you. Mm, come here, honey. On the steak. Wow. It's really elegant. Oh my gosh. Honestly, I don't even think it needs soy sauce. This is a bomb. Try it with the meat okay. and my flavor enhancements. I finally get to make these noodles. I've got the water boiling. I've got the beef soup ready to go. It's getting nice and hot. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna add one of these guys into the pot. In fact, I'll do that right now. I'm gonna put it right in there. And once this boils, I'll be ready to go. I'll boil the noodles. 
I'll play everything up. Then I finally get to eat. It's midnight right now. Took an hour to put down Bella after Judy tried for an hour and a half. <coughs> let me plate this up and then I'll let you know how it tastes because I have not made this before. This is the first time. The girls like the meat. Judy actually made a curry with the meat, which is great. But I'm gonna make what I wanted to make in the first place, which is a Taiwanese beef noodle soup. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So soft and tender. Oh, shoot. Oh, baby. Oh, my God. With that broth? Mmm. Oh, my God. This right here. This. This. Oh, my God. Ramen. You're coming next. Look at that! Mm. 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 <clears throat> wow. Wow, 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 wow. Cheers. All that work. All that work was worth it. A hundred percent. No doubt. Oh my gosh. Whenever you cook any kind of meat with the bone that long, oh my God, magic just happens. All the fat, all the, oh, all the cartilage, all the flavor. Mm. I hope you guys try this. Oh my God. Oh my God. Mm -hmm 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 -hmm. Goodbye.